Hi there, cool friends. It's me once again, Marl Biff, and welcome to my channel. How are you guys? It's me, Marl Bev. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be uh, discussing about aiming system. So there are a lot of aiming systems out there uh, in YouTube. So there are tons of aiming systems. So one of which is what they call the 9090 aiming system. When we have also the 5050 aiming system, they have also the fractional aiming system. The a whole bunch of them, like the uh, end of the ferrule aiming system, the ABC type. I don't know how to explain it. It's very technical. So A, B, C, D. So I've, I've tried almost everything, and uh, they they work. They actually work. It's just that so much information in, in my head. That sometimes when I'm in the money ball, I tend to have that confusion of what 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 will I use and uh, sometimes I, meet, I miss some shots because I'm confused of the uh, overloading of information. So it's my fault because I should have just concentrated in, in one aiming system. But uh, to cut the long story short, I just found out that when you're practically in the game, you cannot think of the angle or the degree or the difficulty of shot or what to use left and right, go to the center. Because what pro players uh, actually is teaching is the, the right pre-stroke or pre-stroke stance and everything, the, fu the fundamental is you line up with the shot, your feet, your right feet is perf perfectly aligned with the cue stick and your left foot is slightly open to the left side. And then once you go down to the shot, they say that you should have thought where to aim or where is the uh, spot where you, you are going to hit the ball. That, that's correct. And that's the proper way. So I'm just confused why are there uh, aiming systems that you go down with your shot and then look for the middle then you turn to the left or you turn to the right so that's con i think for me i think that's contradicting and as a beginner i'm a little bit confused so it, it goes a little like this example a one aiming system is you line up with the shot then you place the end of the ferrule to the uh what do you call this to where you're going to hit the object ball and then that's it your ferrule is in the middle of the cue ball or the white ball then the end of the ferrule is on the is on the nine let's see if it works well it works now some say there is this uh aiming system uh, this is from one of the academies that I've uh, watched is the you get the alignment of the object ball to the pocket and you parallel it to the white ball and then and then the edge where the cue stick ends of from the object ball and the cue ball hit the edge of the white ball to the edge of the object ball where you parallel it okay let's see there's the edge there's the edge there and we try it also works perfectly 
Now there is this uh, uh, system is you look for the center of the cue ball to the center of the object ball okay then you memorize the you divide okay you divide the object ball the end of the left is zero then the one fourth is 25 then 50 is the middle then 75 and 100 is the right edge so memorizing or memorizing each angle like for the, like this angle i think this is on the uh a, a five o'clock a five o'clock shot so you're hitting it to the 25 so again if it's from left to right that's this is zero 25 50 75 100 okay this is what they're saying in the system so you go to the 50 mark then you, when you're down you access you pivot your your left your le right hand to the 25 okay then you hit the shot and it works also so let's try let's try if you are on the zero okay here this is a this is almost uh past five o'clock so where do you hit the shot zero 25 50 75 100 so definitely you hit it at the edge of the five ball because that is the zero let's try i think this is four o'clock and it works also so all of those systems aiming systems works and there's this aiming system a b c d the a b the a b c d of the cue ball is different from the a b c d here uh the opposite then so for beginners so what do we do you, you align the left edge of the object ball to the left edge of the cue ball and then when you're when you're done you put the end of the ferrule at the edge of the cue ball then you Pivot to the center, then you hit the ball. I don't know what they call that, but it also works. So let's do, take a look at the left side. That's the right side. So again, when you're here at the left side, okay, you get the edge of the eight to the edge of the uh, the edge of the cue ball. Then your ferrule is at, the, is at the edge, pointing to the edge of the eight ball. Then you move to center, then you hit. And it also works. Okay. Now, what is the conclusion of the matter? Now, th there is this one uh, system. Actually, it's not a system. Because I've seen lots of kids here in the Philippines. They have no background of any academy or school or pool lessons. And they merely don't watch YouTube, but I'm surprised and amazed that they are running, running balls in the table, and they're they're better than the old ones. They're just just fantastic how they learn pools. So I just connect it to just this one system. They're saying hit a million balls, H A M B. So it makes sense because it's more of a muscle memory. So shall I say it's an I brains hands memory. I brains hands memory. So it's E B H M. Why? Because if you are always given that you know all the systems, but you're not practicing on a daily basis or twice a week or regularly on a regular basis, all those all of those systems are futile. So every time you you, you play pool, say say once a month or twice a month. You always go back to the start from zero, wherein you are uh, se having second thoughts on where to hit the ball. Do you know what I mean? For example, when, when you're down, wait, where do I hit this? Then you're, you try to, you're, 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 you're still using the ghost ball system, wherein that's another system. The ghost ball system is the most... Uh, widely used basic aiming system so for the benefit of those who are not 
uh, do not know the, the ghost ball system is assuming your cue ball would hit here so there's your heating spot and you remove that then you try to replace that ball into the white ball then that's the ghost ball system okay and another system another, another system i forgot is the blind side i think it's a blind side correct me if i'm wrong you're placing assuming you're placing the pocket near the object ball then that's uh, nearer from the object ball so you can already from the top view you can already see where you're going to hit uh you're going to hit the object ball by the cue ball so you're just making the pocket nearer so that's the blind side so when you hit it you're, you have an idea where the direction of the 14 or the object ball is going so going back to what i'm saying is you're you <coughs> you're always going back to zero so what's the the eye brain eye brain hands uh, memory so if you're playing pool and you always play pool like regularly three times a week or other pros and uh, are really um, amateurs or intermediate players they really do it every day they see to it that they practice every day it's more of a muscle memory and the hit the million balls uh, makes sense because when you're down the shot and you're always seeing a familiar shot like this one you don't need to you don't need to uh, think where to hit the ball because you're always playing you have the familiarity already from your eyes alone so just get down the shot and then you uh, do your proper fundamentals of course and then that's it it's the familiarity from the eye brains hands memory you already know once you get once you get down the shot you don't have to think where to hit the ball so i think that makes sense uh, explaining the aiming system aiming system perfectly works all of those systems i tried it all, all i tried all of it but if you're not putting it into practice it's not going to you're not going to maximize the the aiming systems that you have learned and uh like, like here's one example that don't require any many players are having hard time here but if you're familiarized where to hit the ball so you don't i don't have to think twice where to hit it so i often come into encounter with those shots because i'm familiar with it but if i will try not to play for one month or two then have the shot definitely i would miss it and have second thoughts and do this uh, aiming, aiming system this is one aiming system wherein you place your cue in the direction of the shot so they say what i learned and what they say is it's you don't put the fair hole very near the object ball because when you put the ghost ball there that's not the right hitting point you place one chalk away okay from the object ball then you turn it to your white ball then you you visualize the aiming the you're visualizing where to hit the ball the hitting point there that this uh, actually that works for be, all beginners but if you're familiarized already just one look <coughs> from the object ball then you get down on the shot the only thing you will be problemizing is the english that you're going to make say for example the next ball is here okay then you know already where to hit you just adjust a little bit get down with the shot you know what i mean that's what i meant but if you're not familiar with the shot you you would have you still have to go to the hassle of what aiming system will i use will i use the the system the edge center to edge etc and so on you're going to miss the shot well it's not for everyone it's just for my experience as a beginner <clears throat> okay i hope i gave some enlightenment and clarification based on my personal experience regarding 
aiming systems. So all aiming system works. They're perfectly uh, fine. I'm just an average pool player. I mean, I'm just a beginner pool player, and I'm just uh, I'm just sharing what was my observation experience on on the feel of the ball. So getting the feel of the ball, where do you get the feel? Where do you get the feel of the ball? It's from practicing and familiarity, familiarity of the stroke, familiarity of your eyes to the cue ball and to the object ball, and familiarity of uh, your, your brain in hitting the ball. So that's it. Just hit me on the comment below if you'd like to say something and I would appreciate it. And don't forget to like and subscribe in my humble channel. So thank you so much guys and more power to us. And we hope we take our game into the next level. Thank you so much.